Welcome. You have joined the UMP Plus Information Webinar for school employees, or commonly referred to as the School Employee Benefits Board, or SEB, population. More specifically, this is the informational webinar about the UW Medicine Accountable Care Network, one of the two accountable care networks offered through UMP Plus. My name is Ryan Ramsdell, and I'm the Accountable Care Program Account Manager at the Healthcare Authority, or HCA. I'll be starting things off today before we learn more about the UW Medicine Accountable Care Network directly from Way. First, let's cover a couple of technical matters. You can access sound through your computer or you can use your phone. View your registration confirmation email to find audio options. Please note the Q&A prompt in the webinar panel to submit any questions you may have during this webinar. Only the panelists can see your questions and we will try to answer as many as we can at the end of the presentation. For those questions we didn't answer in this webinar, we will try to get back to you directly via email if provided. A live transcript option is available for use during the live session. Note the live transcript button to turn it on. Note the transcription is an approximation. This webinar is being recorded and will be available for viewing within a couple of days after the broadcast on HCA's YouTube page and the UW Medicine ACN website. Today's presentation will include a review of UMP Plus, highlights on the UW Medicine Accountable Care Network, its providers, instructions about enrolling, and an opportunity for questions and answers. So I'll begin with a quick overview of the UMP Plus health plan, starting with a few questions. What is UMP Plus? Why should school employees consider UMP Plus? How might UMP Plus be a good fit for me and or my family? So I'll ask the question first, what is UMP Plus? As of January 1st, 2020, the Healthcare Authority began managing the health insurance options for the state school employees. The Uniform Medical Plan, commonly known as UMP, is the state's original health plan for its public employees. Regents Blue Shield administers UMP for the state. After several decades covering state employees, UMP remains a popular option because of its broad provider network. UMP Plus joined the UMP slate of plan options in 2016. UMP Plus comes with a lower cost and through a coordinated care approach. So by way of context, just remember UMP Plus is an offering of the uniform medical plan. It is administered by regents. All of the providers who, are, who participate in the UMP Plus network are part of the Regents Network. It's also important to remember that like the original UMP Plus plan, original UMP plan, UMP Plus enrollees can self-refer to specialists. So here are some of what make the UMP Plus network special. We'll start with lower monthly premiums and annual deductibles, which you can see remain very reasonable. Check with your payroll and benefits office if you have any questions about premiums. But in addition, subscribers can receive all network primary care visits to include qualifying primary care telemedicine visits without any, any out-of-pocket expenses. And there is no annual drug deductible coverage, annual deductible for drug coverage. An update on expanded benefits for UMP Plus 2022. UMP plans are increasing visit limits for chiropractic, acupuncture, and massage, each to 24 visits per year please see the 2022 Certificate of Coverage for Rules and Limitations. Another advantage of UMP Plus is a consistent focus on coordination and quality. Known as Accountable Care Networks, or ACNs, the TUMP Plus networks are geographical groups of providers dedicated to working together on behalf of plan members. As a plan, UMP Plus is offered to provide school employees with healthcare services, through networks of providers who choose to work together to improve care, and they agree to be accountable to standards for the quality of the care they provide. UMP Plus is offered through two different networks, the UW Medicine Accountable Care Network, the subject of our webinar today, and also the Puget Sound High Value Network. The providers who participate in the UMP Plus plan are dedicated to preventative health care, consistent engagement with patients, and improving health outcomes. In a moment, the UW Medicine Accountable Care Network will elaborate on these key ideas and goals. So below low deductibles and premiums, why else should someone enroll in UMP Plus? 
First, you have access to the whole region's network of support providers. For example, you can access chiropractors, massage and physical therapists, and acupuncturists in Washington State, just like a member does in UMP Achieve One or Achieve Two plans, and with the same fees. Also, when you travel and have an urgent medical need, you have the same access as in the other UMP plans to the International Regents Blue Shield Network, but a note here that only emergency and urgent care services are covered at the network rate outside Washington or the US. Refer to the UMP Plus Certificate of Coverage located on the HCA website for more information. Once again, many find the UMP Plus premiums and contributions to be extremely enticing. As an example, this table is a comparison of the monthly premiums for UMP Achieve 2 and UMP Plus for each of the four categories, a sole subscriber, a subscriber and spouse, a subscriber and children, and a full family. At the bottom of each column is how much you'll save annually in monthly premiums. For example, to the far right of the table, the annual savings for a full family, UMP Plus as compared to UMP Achieve 2 is $864, just in premiums. This doesn't include the additional savings experienced as reflected in the next slide. Here are a few more figures comparing UMP Plus to UMP Achieve 2. You'll notice that the medical deductibles in UMP Plus are half of what they are in UMP Achieve 2, and also that UMP Plus has no prescription deductible and no out of pocket or in network primary care visits. So, who's eligible for UMP Plus? For the UW Account Medicine Accountable Care Network, UMP Plus is offered in seven counties at this time, as listed here. Also, you must be an employee, a person with continuing coverage, a retiree with no one on the account enrolled in Medicare Part A or Part B, or a COBRA member, also with no one on the account enrolled in Medicare Part A or B. Here is a map showing where UMP Plus is available for 2022. Starting in 2016 with around 10,000 state employee enrollees, that number is now well over 39,000, which speaks to the popularity of the plan. Now to be clear, who might not be a good candidate for UMP Plus? It is important to remember that UMP Plus is built around a geographic network of core providers supported by Regents' support network. Another way to express this is, be sure your primary care provider and your specialists like dermatologists, cardiologists, and the like, are part of the UMP Plus core network to experience the full benefits of plan coverage. Plus would not likely work well for persons living outside of the UMP Plus counties or prefer to use primary and specialty providers not in the core network. Say if there is an out-of-state college student in the family, if anyone on the account spends portions of the year overseas or in Texas, for example, those that want to use providers outside the geographic service area or not for participating in the UMP Plus network. For them, UMP Plus as a geographic network might not be the best fit. So with that general information about UMP Plus, I'll turn it over to Wei, who will tell us more about the UW Medicine Accountable Care Network. Great, thank you so much, Ryan. Happy to speak to it. All right. The UMP Plus UW Medicine ACN means affordable health care for you and your family. It is the lowest total cost plan overall, with premiums as low as $77 per month for most groups and an annual deductible of $125 for individuals and $375 for a family. If the subscriber qualifies for the Smart Health Wellness Incentive, their deductible is reduced by $125. You receive free office visits when using network primary care providers. However, one thing to note about primary care office visits is that the visits are free in network, but related services you may receive during the visit, such as lab tests and x-rays, may be subject to the medical deductible and insurance, co-insurance. There is no annual deductible for prescription drugs and the plan includes access to virtual care and a 24 hour nurse care line. Experience matters. UW Medicine launched the first accountable care network in 2014 and membership in this plan has increased each year. 
Our Accountable Care Network includes some of the region's finest healthcare organizations. These members share our commitment to high quality, affordable healthcare, as well as excellent patient service and access. Together, we form the most comprehensive accountable care network in the region. We offer the most comprehensive range of services available from primary and preventative outpatient care to advanced specialty care and adult and pediatric hospitals. There are some changes coming for 2022. Those changes include adding additional providers and clinics, including some UW neighborhood clinics. Additionally, Mbright, a clinically integrated network will take over management of the UW Medicine ACN, but the network and the counties will remain the same. Mbright was founded by UW Medicine, MultiCare Health System, and LifePoint Health to support members and connect providers across these high quality independent health systems through a single clinically integrated network of doctors, clinics, and hospitals. Through these partnerships, Mbright is achieving our mission of enabling collaboration to improve the health of the members that we serve. The UMP Plus UW Medicine Accountable Care Network includes many of the region's finest healthcare organizations. All share a commitment to high quality, affordable care, as well as excellent patient service and access to care. The UMP Plus Network includes Capital Medical Center, Children's University Medical Group, MultiCare Connected Care, Seattle Cancer Care Alliance, Seattle Children's Hospital, Skagit Regional Health, and UW Medicine. Our network spans cities and neighborhoods across the Puget Sound. This is not a narrow network because it includes 18 hospitals, over 1,300 clinics, and thousands of providers. You will be able to find an expert provider for whatever you and your family may need within our network. This is just a sample of the specialty services within our network, which include cardiac care, cancer care, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology, neurosciences, and orthopedics. There is comfort in knowing that even if you have a rare, complex, or uncommon condition, we can address that within our network. We have some of the best research organizations in the region whose discoveries drive much of our specialty care. What is a support provider or support service? These special provider categories include the wide range of healthcare services provided to support the work of the primary and specialty providers. For services considered support, you may see either a UMP plus UW Medicine ACN affiliated provider or Regents Network provider. However, seeing providers affiliated with the UW Medicine ACN helps your providers coordinate your care more effectively. A searchable list of support services and providers is available at ump.regents.com forward slash SEB. You do not need a referral to see a specialist. However, in order to receive in-network benefits, the specialist must be in the UMP plus UW Medicine ACN. We recommend working with your primary care provider to help coordinate care within our network specialists. To find out if your provider is in the UMP plus UW Medicine ACN, you may search a database of network providers, clinics, and hospitals by visiting seb.uwmedicine.org. You may also search a database of primary, specialty, and support providers at regents.com by clicking on additional providers beneath the provider search window, or simply call the dedicated UW Medicine ACN contact center. Please note, the regents provider search can help you find more support providers. However, it may also bring up non-support providers or facilities that are not in the UMP plus UW Medicine ACN, and you may pay significantly more if you use these providers or facilities. If you are not sure how services will be covered, please call UMP Customer Service. With UMP Plus, 
there will be an entire team of providers working together to make sure you stay healthy and receive the best care. This includes wellness and prevention, identifying and treating issues early, and coordinated care to manage chronic conditions like diabetes and heart disease. Part of our patient and family-centered approach is making access to care fast and convenient, which is why we are proud to offer same or next day appointments for primary care, quick access to specialty care, easy access to urgent care, and online access to appointments. With the UW Medicine ACN, getting access to virtual care is easy. You can receive healthcare from the comfort of your home or office via a smartphone, tablet, or computer. Care is provided by board-certified physicians and nurse practitioners who can suggest over-the-counter treatments, arrange a prescription, and help you locate a pharmacy. Depending on the nature of the appointment, virtual care can be used for urgent, pediatric, primary care, or specialty care. All services are available through a single centralized contact center. The UW Medicine Contact Center at 888-402-4238 can help you make an appointment or receive assist assistance with a referral, connect with the 24-7 Nurse Care Line or other services as needed, find out if a physician or healthcare professional is in the network, find clinic locations, and for the remainder of this year, the Contact Center is available Monday through Saturday 7 a.m. through 7 p.m. Starting in 2022, the contact center will be open Monday through Friday from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. To find out more details about the UW Medicine Accountable Care Network option, you can visit our portal to find more information about clinic locations, our network providers, benefits of joining the UW Medicine Accountable Care Network, and our healthcare organization members. Our dedicated website at seb.uwmedicine.org is designed to help you easily find information on providers and clinics. You can also access information and resources to assist in your healthcare journey. Our dedicated website allows you to easily search for network providers using multiple filters to find exactly what you need. As you can see here, the website also allows you to use multiple filters to find network clinics and hospitals. To search for support providers, you will need to go to the Regents website at ump.regents.com forward slash seb. To search for pharmacy locations, you will need to visit Washington State Rx Services. You can navigate directly to these websites with one click on our seb.uwmedicine.org website. Thank you again for allowing me to share this exciting information about the UMP plus UW Medicine Accountable Care Network with you. And now I will hand it back to Ryan to provide you with information on how to sign up. Thank you. Thanks, Wei. Signing up for UMP plus is fairly simple. First, you can always go to the payroll and benefits office for assistance. Just as easy and maybe a little faster, you can go to SEB My Account at myaccount.hca.wa.gov, where you should click the first green button highlighted with red here, which will direct you to create a secure account. After creating your secure access Washington account, you'll be directed to this page. When you log in, select coverage elections from the dashboard. If you are adding dependents, select step one and follow the steps in order. This slide shows you if you take no action, you'll be enrolled into default plans. Achieve one for medical if this is your first SEB enrollment. Scroll down under the Select Subscriber Medical Plan. Listed here will be the plans available to you. So the specific list of plans that comes up for you may not look exactly like this. Assuming you live in a county served by UMP Plus, select from this list from the UMP Plus network that works best for you and your family. The monthly premiums noted on this page, as you see here, $77 for UMP Plus, are those for a single subscriber. When you actually enroll, 
What you'll see on this page for every plan are the monthly premium amounts that reflect who will be on your account for 2022, whether you're single or whether you have children, et cetera. This is the page that will come up asking you if the plan information you've entered is correct. Be sure to double check. And if it's correct, click the green accept button at the bottom to finalize your choice. Again, the annual open enrollment period for the 2022 plan year begins October 25th and ends November 22nd. We'll list and provide some uh, contact links here on the screen. And from this point, Wei and I are gonna move into some commonly asked questions. Um, so we'll go through a few here and then we'll conclude the webinar. Uh, one of the most common questions we get, and I'll let you answer this one way, is whether or not UMP Plus is a, an HMO plan. Great question, Ryan. No, the UMP Plus is not an HMO plan. This plan is a PPO or preferred provider organization. And so they typically, as I understand it, they are not required to select a primary care provider, but it certainly is recommended for purposes of better managing their health. Is that right? That is correct. That is correct. It is not required to select a primary care provider. Perfect. Um, we get this one a lot and I will, I'll answer this one, which is, uh, you know, what is the difference between the two UMP plus plans? And in terms of their benefit structure, in terms of the cost, the premiums, the deductibles, the out-of-network or out-of-pocket uh, provider and the out-of-network uh, requirements and so forth, they're identical. The difference between the two plans are going to be the providers within each plan and also then the geographic count or geographic or county areas in which they serve or provide service. So if you have a particular provider that you are interested in within the counties that were listed on, this, on the map before, just look them up on the regions.com website or the UW Medicine Accountable Care Network website and see if the provider you're looking for is in this network. Um, otherwise, as I said, they're pretty much identical. Um, I think the last question we'll, we'll answer here, Way, and I'll give this one to you, is uh, a lot of people ask whether or not if they select this plan, are they still able to see their chiropractor, naturopath, or massage therapist? Yes, of course. So assuming that they are accepting regents and are part of the Washington Support Network, you should still have access to your chiropractors or a naturopath or massage therapist or whomever else. Just to be sure, go to hca.wa.gov, then go to SEB, then go to find a provider and select the area you live and the plan you are interested in and search for the chiropractor, naturopath, massage therapist, or what have you. Perfect. Well, with those questions answered, I, I'm going to thank everyone in attendance and we are going to conclude the webinar for today. Thank you.